Hi, 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 it's Bernie here from sunny San Diego. How are you guys doing? So in this video, I'm going to show you our brand new multi-node management features of Ant-Man and um, also our load balancing. So let's jump right into it. I have here Ant-Man open on um, a node called Aster. So I see Aster here as well. Um, this is Aster's dashboard, by the way. I see some basic information about the server that I'm running on. I see my two Z pools that I have, and I see a few antlets here. Um, they can be KVM or they can be bare metal containers, which is the really cool stuff about Ansel. So you don't need to have full virtualization. You can run it in bare metal containers, which is so much more efficient to run. So this is just one node. So what we can do now in um, the new Ant-Man, we can click this little triangle here and see all the nodes. Aster is our local node that, that Ant-Man is running on. We can add a new node here. So I can say HTTP um, iris.local. So iris is another node that we're having here. Um, username is root. It's added successfully. So now when I click here, the triangle is pointing to the right, not to the bottom anymore. So I have my two nodes. So I can just switch to Iris. It tells me the node has switched to Iris and then I see Iris's information and I see Iris's antlets. And I can switch back to Aster I can switch back to a unified view, which tells me all antlets. So I see them all here and can manage all my antlets. So let's go back to, to Aster. So what I'm going to show you now is how to set up load balancing, which is a really cool feature. So what we do here is we go to this little um, menu item here in our sidebar, which is called load balancing. So we already have one load balancing rule here for demo purposes, um, right in there. Well, you can add another rule here. You can say mysite.org, right, on port 80. Now it tells you the URL to access your upstreams is mysite.org. So every time someone tries to access mysite.org, you can forward it to these upstreams here and have the load balanced to all the upstreams that you're adding here. So by default, we give you two fields for to add your upstream. Oh, so this could be myhandler1.com, and we give it a weight of, say, five. And then we have myhandler2.com. We give it a weight of one, and we add a third one, myhandler3.com, and we give it a weight of, say, two. So now we have three handlers, right? We need to make sure we have them set up. Um, so these three servers can all handle our requests. And this is a fatter server, so we give it a weight of five. So five requests, out of eight requests, five will go to this one, one to this one, and two to that one. So they can all handle our HTTP requests. Um, that is easy if you have read-only access you just have a read-only website or something if you have something where you also write to a database or something you would need your database's replication feature so if you use like postgres or mysql or something like that then they all have their replication feature or if you use um, microsoft sql server or something like that um, and um, you do the load balancing here with Ant-Man and you do the database replication with the database system that you're using. Uh, you can add more upstreams and you can click that backup feature. So the moment I check, I make the check mark here on backup only, this server will only be called when the others are down, right? So you could have those three here, they will be handled in, in a round-robin fashion, five times here, one time here, two times here, and then it starts again round-robin with the first one. But if these are down, then use this one as a backup. Right? And you can delete your individual upstreams, and you can just say create rule, 
boom, and your new URL is here, and you can edit it later if you want. So that's how easy it is to set up your load balancing in in the new Ant-Man. You do the multi-node management. You can add you know an arbitrary number of nodes, manage them all in one place. So I hope this was helpful. Remember to comment down below um, what you think about this video. If you have any more questions, if you need any more details or I should do another video about some other stuff, let me know in the contents and don't forget to hit that like button because that just helps the YouTube algorithm and it will just advance our movement. Alrighty, thanks guys. See you soon in the next Freedomcast. Bye.